welcome back now this is the third lecture i'm doing i have already done 10 minutes long two lectures just trying to demonstrate this application and still i'm not finished so you can imagine if <laughs> this application takes half an hour to even demonstrate the core features you can imagine how big of this application we're going to create and how much you will be able to learn and how much knowledge you can take away from this course all right super exciting now we're going to have extremely beautiful uh, this huge uh, multiple um, search and filtering options here now before we do anything here let's let's go to some other page for example let's say user search for something let's say macbook all right they can hit enter and they will be land on landing on this page all right so from here on they can go crazy with the search for example they can continue typing here and this is going to show products in real time however um, with the user input changing here we will be delaying our search with few minutes so we don't make too many requests to apis so we will be using the uh, debounce all right so let's say surface okay so i'm just typing i'm not hitting enter or anything it just fits the products all right so that's beautiful macbook all right so that's how it works that's beautiful now let's give this a try you can see here we can filter by price okay so this product uh, 2500 3500 4000 let's try let's say i want to buy a laptop that falls uh, just below 1500 unfortunately we don't have any okay let's go up 2000 we don't even have 2000 2500 we got one okay that's great if i go a bit more 4500 okay so we've got two laptops all right so if i go full up to 5000 i see three laptops so you can see here we can filter by price now let's say if i want to buy only the expensive one you can see this one is between four to five all right so that's how we can filter by pricing which is extremely cool now the next one is category so user can filter the products based on category as well so let's say keyboard i don't think we have any products on keyboard let's say laptop okay so we got four items in the laptop okay so you can see these are multiple um, check boxes as well so not just one you can pick multiple categories so we don't have anything on desktop anything on mobile we have only laptops but if you have more products then obviously this is multiple checkbox all right so that's great now let's go with the rating so let's say user want to buy the product that is five star rating only okay so unfortunately we don't have a product with five star let's see four star yeah we got one product on four star three star and that's that's it okay so that's how you can filter by star rating as well and these boxes are collapsible you can always close them by default i have decided to leave them open right and subcategories so we have all these subcategories you can click surface pro subcategory we don't have any of them i guess we have some in the apple okay so we got one product in the apple okay lenovo okay so that's how you can filter by subcategories as well so let's go by brand okay let me collapse this one so let me collapse this so if i want to search by brand you can see only apple only samsung we don't have we don't have okay we got one microsoft we got lenovo all right so you can see this is extremely beautiful searching and filtering options here let's search uh, filter by color black brown okay we got one in brown two in silver and so on okay and finally by shipping so i guess we have all the products uh, with shipping there is one without shipping all right so you can see here we have extremely flexible multiple uh, searching and filtering options feel free to use one or many of them in your project okay so this is cool as you can see this is a massive project extremely exciting all right so from using the styling with and design bootstrap material to 
building this full stack front to back application using a Firebase authentication, then so much more. I'm sure I've even forgot uh, so many other uh, features in this uh, almost half an hour introduction in these three lectures, all right? So are you ready to start building this awesome application from scratch? So we will start with nothing, just with the code editor. And by the end of this course, we will have this beautiful application deployed live in the server. You can imagine how much you will learn from starting from scratch all the way to building this application and pushing to the cloud, right? So if you are ready for this adventure, join me. Let's uh, talk about a few more things in the following lectures. I want to discuss a bit more about uh, the, the course requirement. This is not for absolute beginners, even though I try to explain as much as possible. This is a huge project and there are so many things going on. Right? So we'll talk about that in the next one or two lecture and then we're going to finally start coding this e-commerce application.